January 2018 to you. Today is the 15th and it's a nice sunny day here in South Jordan, about 50 degrees. Uh, I was just sitting here thinking about the fact that we don't have a lot of snow here in the valley and not a lot of snow in the mountains and that the ATV season could be coming just a little bit sooner this year. Of course, you know, there's always a chance we get some more snow, but the way it's looking, we're going to be out a little earlier this year. As I was thinking today, I thought of something that I did about a year ago. The first weekend in February, I decided to come out here. I had a nice blanket of snow on uh, the backyard, and, and so I came out. And let me show you my, my backyard, what it looks like right now. Uh, as you can see, there's not a lot of snow out here. But I, one day, in the first weekend of February, decided I'd get my ATV out. There's nice eight inches of snow in my backyard, and this is what it looked like then. As you can see, I was having a good time, and as you, you look really close, you'll notice that there's a, what appears to be sod flying up in the air, and I'm cutting those donuts in the back lawn. Huh? The ground is frozen, that's grass, it's not sod, so don't worry too much, but oh boy, howdy, did I get in trouble with a couple of people. My wife was wondering what I was doing. I had a couple of neighbors scold me for ruining my lawn like that, and I even had one guy comment on my Facebook page and said, uh, yeah, that tears up your lawn, rookie mistake. But I was having a lot of fun that day. But here's a picture of what my lawn looked like in the spring, just before I mowed it the first time. So as you can see, it didn't do too much damage to the lawn. In fact, that's the best my lawn has ever looked uh, at this time of the year. So it didn't turn out too bad. It's the 20th of January. It's five days since I was here recording about how dry our January was. And guess what happened? It snowed. Hey, this is better than the groundhog. Let me tell you, I just knew that if I made that recording, it was going to snow. And yep, it did. But let me show you my backyard. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, there it is. You can see that. Uh, been out with the ATV today. Doing a little snow blowing around the neighborhood. It's easier to get around my ATV than it is my truck and get my snow blower in and out. But uh, as you can see, there's a beautiful blanket of snow on my backyard. There's at least a foot here. Uh, wow, what a snowstorm. Uh, but, you know, uh, there's no way that I'm going to go out and do what I did last year. I got in so much trouble last year for what I did to my lawn, and it was probably a little irresponsible. I had, a fr I had a friend ask me a couple of months ago, uh, he said, so you got that machine all put away for the season? I said, nope, don't ever put my machine away. And he looked at me like, you got to be crazy. And you know what? I am crazy. I enjoy riding my machine. And uh, even in the winter, as you can see last year, I was on the back lawn spinning some donuts. But you know, in reality, there are a lot of trails west of here that are awesome trails to ride during the winter if you don't mind a little bit of cold. And there are trails you wouldn't normally ride in the, in the heat of the summer. So anyway, the seasons are coming. It's time to get ready. We've got a great article on our website uh, that talks to you about how to get your machine ready for the upcoming season, safety issues, uh, maintenance tips to get that machine in good uh, working order so that you don't get uh, broken down out on the trail. Also on the website, we've identified 55 different trails in northern Utah that will be available for your use in 2018. Uh, these trail packages include a detailed map with the actual trail highlighted on the map. Uh, it shows you where to start, uh, where to go on the trail, what turns you need to make, what roads and trails you need to be on. Uh, we've done all the research for you, so all you need to do is take this map and go. Now, these maps are downloadable to your device, so you can do that, or if you want to print it out on an eight and a half uh, by 11 sheet of paper, you can do that as well and, and take it with you, it's awesome. We've also given you a detailed description on how to get the trailhead. How many times have you had someone tell you about a, a, a great ATV trail, or you've seen something on the internet, but you don't know how to get there? Uh, they say, oh yeah, it's up by somewhere. But where's that? Well, we tell you exactly how to get there so there's no question, and there's, you don't waste a lot of time getting to the trailhead. We also give you a detailed description of the trail, uh, things to watch out for, maybe tricky spots in the trail, uh, just important information. We also provide you with a short video that shows you uh, the trail. It shows you, uh, gives you an idea of what you're in for before you get there. And we also give you a terrain rating. So great packages, uh, check them out and, and use them for your enjoyment this summer. 
Uh, to learn more about all of this stuff, click the Learn More button on this uh, Facebook post. It'll take you right to our website. So enjoy the weather. As I said, springs are coming, summers are coming. It's gonna not going to be long for back on those trails. And remember that when you do get back out, be safe on those ATVs and side-by-sides. Use good judgment. Uh, we don't want people getting hurt. Don't do crazy things. Remember to always get out for a ride and hope to see you on the trail.